I had so much fun with the Las Vegas expansion rebuild last week. I was like, I want to do another one of these. And we're going to take control of a city that used to have an NBA team, Vancouver. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? We have added the Vancouver Huskies to the NBA, a team we are going to be controlling. I also added a team to New Jersey. So they lost a team as well that went to Brooklyn. So you have a New Jersey general team. I really, I don't think ever added a New Jersey team in any expansion rebuild ever for me. So if you guys do enjoy these expansion rebuilds, I would appreciate it if you dropped a thumbs up. So I took your guys' advice in that expansion rebuild because sometimes in 2K, they don't protect like a Marco Fultz or Clay Thompson or Brad McBeal, and it's just not realistic whatsoever. So I controlled every team and I put in a protection list. Yeah, maybe there's like one tough one like here. Like I chose Chris Dorte over Colby Jones. You could flip those around, but it's pretty much going to be a very thin draft. And I controlled every team. And in this screen right now, I can't like uncontrol any team. So I guess I'm going to be drafting for the generals as well, who do not have the number one overall pick. So the best player in this class is going to be Monty Morris. You also have Kelly Olenek, Marvin Bagley, Dario Saric, Duncan Robinson. I think like the Thunder had a lot of guys that I wasn't able to keep. So like Misich is in here. I believe Trey Mann is also in here. Ben Simmons is in here. Santi Aldama was another one, but I was just going to keep David Roddy over him. So I think with my number one pick, it could be Marvin Bagley. It could be Santi Aldama. It could be Misich, but he's 29. So I don't know if I want to go that route. We could take Ben Simmons as well. You know what? I think I'm going to take Santi Aldama just because he's 22 years old. Now, I can't simulate these picks since I can't even simulate the pick in general. I'll get the New Jersey Generals Marvin Bagley. That's who I would have taken next. So I'm not going to just completely screw up the Generals. I'm going to draft a good team for them as well. Ian Jackson on the Pacers was somebody else that was hard to keep because I wanted to protect Bruce Brown and Buddy Hield for them. And they have a lot of big men. I think Jackson might have been like the worst one out of all of them. All right. So I just finished up the draft. We basically got Santi Aldama, Misic, and you can kind of see who the Generals took throughout this. Javon Carter. Ben Simmons. I, I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll take Ben Simmons. Gary Harris went. Then we took Maxwell Lewis, Hunter Tyson, two second round picks in this past draft. Jalen McDaniels, Brandon Boston Jr., Bruno Fernando, Jericho Sims, James Booknight, Patrick Baldwin Jr., and Andre Jackson. All right, so let's construct our year one rotation. I think this is going to be a very solid defensive backcourt with Carter and Harris. I don't know if I'm going to start either one of them. Like, I, I kind of want to get Ben Simmons minutes, but he may come off the bench. So let me construct this team. All right, so this is what I'm going to do for this year. Everyone's going to get a pretty evenly distributed minutes. We're just going to go 28 to the backcourt, 27 to McDaniels, Aldama Fernando with Misich, Simmons, Booknight, Boston, uh, and Jericho Sims off the bench. So these juniors might be in the G League. I think I'm going to send Patrick Baldwin Jr. to the G League since he is 20. Where would the G League team of Vancouver be? Would they just throw it in Washington, like Olympia? Would they throw it in Canada still? Maybe throw it in like Edmonton. That might be kind of far. Calgary. Or they could just throw it in Wyoming or Montana. That'd be kind of cool as well. And I'm also going to, yeah, I actually don't have any other ability to send anybody to the G League. So system proficiency under Milan Mack is two stars. Unfortunately, we do a Milan Mack. Jake Thomas seems like he's a much better head coach probably the coach of the new jersey generals we do lose game one of the season by six 102 to 96 honestly pretty good defense by us to start off the year when are we gonna get our first win though hey it was in game two we beat our fellow canadian team this would be kind of a cool rivalry between vancouver and toronto javon carter goes off for 30 points he had seven threes gary harris had 24 all right, one and one on the year, not too bad. So we did lose the expansion battle with New Jersey. They won 102 to 97. Fernando had 18 and 12. Josh Richardson had 19. They're three and eight to start off the year. We both may have top five picks in this upcoming draft. All right, so I didn't expect any all-stars from the Vancouver Huskies this year. Tyrese Maxey makes his first all-star appearance. Shout out to him. He never gets it when I control them. So we are 13 and 36 at the moment. We are not doing too hot. We are the worst team in the Western Conference. Two games worse. Um, or I guess a game and a half behind the Houston Rockets. The New Jersey Generals are 20 and 29. So we could look to make some moves at the deadline, just be a full seller. I don't even know. Ben Simmons at least has good field goal percentage. I just don't know if anybody wants that contract. Santi Aldama might have some value because he's under team control next year. Same with Javon Carter because he's under contract. Honestly, the efficiency for the top four is not too bad. Misich. 
can hit a shot like within the three-point line, and that's not a free throw. Jalen McDaniels has been kind of garbage for us. Bruno Fernando has been somewhat solid, it seems like. But Book Knight may be cooked. Brandon Boston may be cooked. And I'm going to make this trade with the Milwaukee Bucks. They're going to be Pat Connington, who is not even playing for them. They're getting Javon Carter back, who did spend um, at least a year and a half there in Milwaukee. And we're going to give them Hunter Tyson as well, who hasn't really played for us. But we're going to be getting a swap horse pick between them and the Pelicans in a couple of drafts. So I think that's definitely worth it. And then we're going to be trading Gary Harris to the Atlanta Hawks for their 2028 unprotected first round pick and Garrison Matthews. Harris is a good defender, good three-point shooter still only 29 years old so this is going to help the Hawks for their playoff push and we just acquired two first round picks at the deadline I don't think any of those are going to really be all that good in value but hey that's the smart decision to make at the deadline I'll see you guys at the end of year one so Luka Doncic wins MVP pretty much standard oh Santi Aldama, let's go. Wins most improved. We could try to move him in the offseason. I mean, he does have that fourth year team option, so he's not going to be too expensive next year. The Hawks got coach of the year, so it definitely looks like it was worth making a move and buying Gary Harris at the deadline. We did get Ben Simmons on all defensive second team as well. We are stuck with him for another year. Misich is on our rookie first team. I don't know if I'm going to find a seller or a team that wants him. I mean, the field goal percentage is is really bad, but it really may not matter to a team that thinks they could fix him. Shea Gilgis Alexander is your Western Conference Finals MVP. Jimmy in the East, who averaged 37 points. Heat versus Thunder, rematch from 2012, and the Thunder win this time around. So yeah, I'm really just excited to get in the offseason. JaVale McKee retires for the Generals. LeBron obviously is going to be headed to the Hall of Fame. And this is going to be pretty big for us. It is the draft lottery. We have the highest odds of getting the number one overall pick. We'll see if that happens. All right, so let's hope we don't fall to pick number five. Five, but hey, anything is possible. I don't wonder if you do add expansion teams, we could fall to six. That would just suck so much. So the Rockets are picking there at six via Brooklyn. The Generals have not seen their name come up yet. Oh my God. God damn it. We fall to pick five. Magic one, Generals two, Hornets three, Thunder four. And we are there at five. I really wanted to get Stefan Castle out of UConn. I don't think I'm going to fire Moan Mack yet. We could go out and get like a James Borrego. Hey, and Ime Odoka. Wow, the Rockets really did fire him. Honestly, yeah, no, I should definitely get Ime Odoka to be my next head coach. And boom, there we go. All right, so I really wanted to get Stefan Castle, but now for this, he's projected to go number one overall um, to the Orlando Magic. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting him, sadly. Let's see, does he go number one overall to the Orlando Magic? No, it is Matas Buzuelis. Okay. I think as high as I shouldn't really be trading future draft picks. So I don't know if I'll be trading up. The Generals at number two, they take Stefan Castle. Now I'm just jealous. Hornets at three, take Alexander Saar. Okay, we do have a chance to take Ron Holland and that dream is gone. So it's gone Buzelis, Castle, Saar, and then Holland. We do have an opportunity to take either Isaiah Collier or Justin Edwards. And you know what? I'm going to take Justin Edwards out of Kentucky. I'm looking for a score first wing. We do have some other point guards on the roster. I haven't really drafted Justin Edwards in a while. And he is a top prospect for the 2024 draft. We do have another pick um, at pick 30. What would that be? Pick 33. All right. I'm going to send Jalen McDaniels back to the Sixers as well as Message for pick 27 in this draft. So the Sixers are going to get, I think, like probably the better end of that trade. Two good rotational pieces potentially. Um, if they can fix, I guess, their field goal percentage for McDaniels and Message. But yeah, we're going to get another first round pick in which something we need. The Wizards actually traded the seventh overall pick for Fred Van Vliet. Why? All right, and we're going to get a point guard on this draft. We're going to take Omarco Jackson out of Kansas. He is a freshman this season. He would have made more sense, I guess, for the Generals because I believe he is from New Jersey. And then I'm also going to take Elliot Cadeau here at pick 33. We saw him develop very well in the 10-year heat rebuild, so that could be a steal for us also. So he still ended up with two point guards in this draft. So obviously, we're going to sign all three of these guys. All right, so team player options. Jericho Sims, I think for the center depth, I will bring him back. Patrick Baldwin Jr., 2.4 mil. We will also bring back Garrison Matthews. No, I'm going to let him walk. So we will have some cap space in free agency. I just don't know who wants to sign with Vancouver right now. I don't really think it would make sense to go out and get a Paul George or James Harden. Malik Monk could make some... Um, sense because he's still only 26 years old we could go after og and Anobi as well and kind of overpay for him whoa the nets did not make nick claxton a restricted free agent okay uh we do need a center i think i would maybe overpay for nick claxton a tad bit 24 mil over four years let's see if he would do this and boom, there we go. All right, I do make a big free agency decision. I needed a center desperately. And we go out and get a 25-year-old solid rim protector in Nick Claxton. That is massive for us. 
Paul George goes to the Lakers, Harden to the Raptors. We got Claxton. Siakam goes to the Pistons. I see that way too often. Valanciunas back to the Grizzlies. And Anobi stays with Toronto. We do get Brandon Boston Jr. back on the qualifying offer. We do see some progression. Even Pat Connaughton went up. He could be a trade deadline piece. We're also going to probably be pretty bad this year. I just want to see Justin Edwards do really well. And maybe if I can get anything out of El Marco Jackson or Elliot Cadell, I'll be happy. All right, so this is going to be the rotation. Ben Simmons at the one, Edwards at the two with Connaughton, Aldama, and then we have Nick Claxton at the five. We'll have El Marco Jackson, Bruno Fernando, Maxwell Lewis, Andre Jackson, and Elliot Cadeau off the bench. Three and a half star balanced under Ime Odoka. Like I said, I don't think we're going to be very good this season, but I'm very excited to see what the rookies can do this year. And Nick Claxton as well against this former team gives me 18, 13, and three blocks, 12, 6, and 13 for Ben Simmons against his former team. And then Justin Edwards in his NBA debut drops me 22 and eight hell yeah man if he can win rookie of the year this year that would be sick ben simmons off to an incredible start this year in the 2025 season but we start off the year one and two nick claxton off to a great start as well all right so taking a look here at the all-star draft we see first time all-stars scotty barnes victor Wimbanyama, and evan mobley here we are 19 and 32 so we are 13 games uh, below 500 now we are better this year than last year and i could give some props to adoka i could give some props to like maybe nick claxton so on the year this is per 30 so don't get too excited uh justin edwards leading the team in points though at 19.2 seven rebounds as well and honestly really good efficiency i'm very happy with the selection ben simmons having a good year i'm gonna see if i can flip him at the deadline i just it's 40 million dollars it's gonna be hard to match nick claxton doing well for us also in his first year still only 25 years old um santi aldama could have some value at the deadline El marco jackson Canada three, but not terrible rookie numbers. Pat Connington, I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything for him at the deadline, sadly. Ellie Cadeau, not bad either. There's Maxwell Lewis. It's been inefficient. Andre Jackson's been solid, though. Like, I could trade Ben Simmons. I could also extend him 15 mil a year. Eh. Don't know if I want to do that, but he's still 28. The Chicago Bulls really want to get off of Zach Levine. I don't really want that contract. Yeah, it's pretty much all bad contracts in return for Ben Simmons, but he does have some trade value. So you know what? We could look to flip him next year or after this extension kicks in because he'll definitely be more tradable. So you know what? I'm going to bring back Ben Simmons. We're going to give him a three-year deal, team option on the last year, 15 mil a year. He's a good player for us. We might as well keep our homegrown players. I don't know if we pick up, well, no, we can't pick up where we left off in Vancouver because that went to Memphis. So yeah, he's basically one of our franchise's best players so far. All right, the Cleveland Cavaliers are looking to add Santi Aldama. I do have to give them my second round pick this year, but I will be getting Dean Wade in return, $6 million. Maybe that's why I got to take on that contract next year, but I get a 2028 swap worst with Utah. So we have added some additional first round picks. We have one first round pick um, added next year, and then we have another one here in 2028. Um, we actually have three first round picks in 2028, which is nice. So yeah, we'll see how this team finishes off, and I'm fine with another top five pick. It would be pretty cool to add Cooper Flagg to this team, but we'll see. Buka Doncic wins MVP. Bronny James, what rookie of the year for the Miami Heat? Okay, he did average 15 and 7 in his rookie season. Isaiah Collier looks pretty solid, but the Pacers didn't really need another point guard. Evan Mobley Depoy, Kuminga most improved. Willard Clutch Player of the Year, Mark Dagno Coach of the Year. We do get Nick Claxton on all defensive first team. Hell yeah, 2.3 blocks, 1.2 steals, 58% from the field, 14 and 9 and a half. Ben Simmons, all defensive of second team so he's an all defensive caliber player he was on it last year yeah i'm actually pretty happy with this extension justin edwards did not get rookie of the year but he averaged 19 points on 48 36 84 shooting okay i think he should have won rookie of the year stefan castle was good as well we did have a marco jackson on all rookie second team he could start for us at the point guard spot next year look at burko forgot about that dude um so yeah we did not make the playoffs this year or the play-in tournament did we finish with the worst record no far from it 34 and 48 the 12th seed in the western conference so definitely some improvement this year maybe since we played well we would get some luck in the lottery we'll see the generals did not make it out of the play-in tournament and here were the rest of the player stats as edwards was our leading scorer then simmons claxon patrick baldwin jr actually put up some numbers but 32 percent from three i give him some time to shine as well yeah i i feel like cadeau will be in the rotation and on marco jackson everybody else down here i think is up for grabs to be out of it besides obviously the top three of claxton justin edwards and ben simmons you got the thunder and the Cavs in the finals and the thunder go back to back and shea gilders alexander finals mvp so draymond is going to not go to the hall of fame but he gets his jersey retired by the warriors popovich retires as well 
All right, so we have the ninth projected pick. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky in the lottery. Nope, we actually fell to 10. The Wizards via Brooklyn get one. The Nets via the Suns got three Spurs at two. The Generals are picking at 15. All right, so yeah, we couldn't get too lucky in this lottery. I don't think I'm going to trade up. All right, so yeah, we have the 10th overall pick. I don't think I'm going to trade up. The Wizards are going to take... Oh, wow, they just traded it for LaMelo Ball. Whoa, what a trade. Gave Vincent a number one for LaMelo Ball and Rozier. Who did they trade for last year? Fred Van Vliet, right, on draft night? Wow, that is crazy. And then they take Dylan Harper. They don't even take Cooper Flagg. And Cooper Flagg's there with Wemby. Oh, the West is cooked. The West is cooked. That is insane. Oh, my goodness. Trey Johnson goes four. I mean, Ace Bailey is still there. No way he makes it to 10. That would be insane. He's still on the board. Ace Bailey is still there. All right, who do I have to trade up with? The San Antonio Spurs. No, no, no. I'm not allowing them to get Ace Bailey. They have seven. Um, I will give you pick 10. I'll give you Andre Jackson, who did well last year. And I will give you this Jazz pick in 2028. That should be enough to move up. There we go. Okay, yeah. I was not allowing them to get Ace Bailey as well. We are selecting him out of Rutgers. He could play the three. He could play the four. It's going to be a nice selection for us. Okay, so he takes Carter Bryant. They end up with VJ Edgecombe. Oh my God. And they end up with Ian Jackson. That is still so good. That may be even better than what I just pulled off. Oh my God. They got Cooper Flag. They got Edgecombe. And they got Ian Jackson with Wemby. The whole West is shook. I'm shook. All right. So let's sign Ace Bailey. Shout out to Rutgers though getting him. He is a five-star prospect. So kind of did add a player option. I never would have done that trade. Ah, nine million. I mean, what are we going to do? I wasn't really going to sign anybody too big. I think I'm actually going to decline the option on Patrick Baldwin. I'm going to pick it up on Fernando and obviously for Elliot Cadeau as well. Since he's a second round pick, he can be a free agent. I am not going to give Book Knight the qualifying offer. I will give it a Brandon Boston just in case. So just kind of looking at the squad right now, I think I'm fine at point guard. Um, good at shooting guard, could get some depth there. Bailey could be our three. So maybe we're fine there. Um, so I'm in the market for a power forward. I would like Jason Tatum, but I will not go out and sign Jason Tatum. I mean, John Collins could be interesting as well. Jalen Johnson, Jonathan Kuminga, $37 million. Good Lord. Man, I would love Cam Thomas on this team as well. I just don't really have a spot for him. I don't want to play him at the three. I'd want to play him at the four, and I don't really know if that would work out. I think Jalen Suggs could be a nice bench piece for us. So I'm going to see if they would match this 14 mil a year. Let's see. And they don't match that. So we get a good defender in Suggs. I'm going to tell him to stop taking that many threes. I kind of want John Collins, but I don't want to pay 27 mil. The Mavs give him a two-year deal worth 50 mil. I mean, that's not too bad. I obviously don't want Bridges. Sadiq Bey, 27 mil is a lot. I mean, Jalen Johnson for 12 million a year isn't too bad either. So let's see if we could snag Jalen Johnson. I don't think they would match something like this. Just try to get another restricted free agent. That's what we got to do with this cap. And boom, there we go. Our four spacing could be bad at times. And why did I didn't want to give Book Knight the qualifying offer? Uh, Brandon Boston isn't here anymore. So yeah, like Jalen Johnson's three point shots a C plus. Damn, Ace Bailey's a C plus. Suggs is somehow a B. Okay, I'll take that. Jackson's a D plus, like a C minus. Now yeah, our four spacing might be a little bit rough. All right, so the force basic on this team, like I said, is not going to be very good. I'm probably going to give Elliot Cadell like 17, 15 to Fernando. We'll do 24 to Marco Jackson, 26 to Suggs. And then for the starting five, I think Simmons is going to get like 32, probably go like 36 to Justin Edwards. I think he is our best player. 32 to Claxton. And then let's go 32 Ace Bailey and then 28 to Jalen Johnson. And system proficiency under Ime Odoka is three and a half star balance. Like I said, our force spacing is going to be pretty brutal this year. I would like to make at least the playing tournament Great start for Justin Edwards. Road game against the Warriors. We ended up losing. Road game against the Generals. And we ended up winning this one. How has Ace Bailey looked so far? Not too bad. I mean, him and Edwards are basically the franchise of this team. All right, so we're actually a game over 500 at the All-Star Draft. We see Caden Shangun from the 21 class get first-time All-Star nods. But yeah, hey, I will take that. We could be buyers. We could stay put at the deadline. We are currently the ninth seed in the Western Conference. Man, this Spurs team. Oh, what? You're not starting Cooper Flag? Should I trade for him? That's insane. But yeah, 25 and 24, I will take that. The New Jersey Generals, though, they are pretty good. Yeah, Stefan Castle, eh, maybe not even that much better than, than uh, Justin Edwards, but they signed Jason Tatum. So that makes some sense that they are ranked that high. Edwards, 23 points, seven and a half rebounds, three and a half assists. Him and Ace Bailey running the show. I am a fan of that. Jalen Suggs' efficiency is much better for us this year and giving us good defensive play. I'm happy with that. Amarco Jackson, honestly, much better. True shooting is up. 
averaging six assists a night. He could be our long-term answer at the point guard position. Jalen Johnson still can't hit threes in this game, but you know what? He's still been good nonetheless. So I'm a fan of the squad we got. I don't think I would look to move Ben Simmons, even though I couldn't get something good for him. I'll bring back Bruno Fernando. I actually don't mind him as a backup center for us. And Elliot Cadeau will be a restricted free agent at the end of the year. So we'll see if I'm going to do anything with that. Um, but if I'm going to keep Ben Simmons and I have a Marco Jackson, he may walk. We'll see though. Let's hope we could just make the playing tournament at the minimum. I would like to end up with the top six seed, but we'll see. So Luka Doncic went to another MVP award. So I guess, you know, maybe they didn't want LaMelo. Maybe he requested a trade, but the guy they traded uh, for him at number one overall over Cooper Flag was your rookie of the year. Fred Van Vliet is now in Philly, just won six man of the year. Giannis Depoy, most improved, goes to Kyle Filipowski in year two in Minnesota. Justin Edwards, clutch player of the year. Oh yeah, he may average close to 30 points per game next season, which I'm very excited for. The New Jersey Generals coach um, got, or GM got executive of the year. Tatum is on all NBA third team. I thought we'd see Justin Edwards there. That would have been pretty sick. We do get Justin Edwards though on all defensive second team. So he's a defensive stud as well. Ace Bailey is on all rookie first team. I am very excited about the Bailey Edwards duo next season as we ended up as the 10th seed. So we're at least in the playing tournament. We went 38 and 44. Pretty much this is what the bench is going to look like. Let's go 34 minutes to Claxton. I think we're going to just give a couple more minutes to Justin Edwards and Ace Bailey. We're going to give a Marco Jackson the shot um, in the first leg just because Ben Simmons will not take a three. I need at least somebody that will, even though a Marco Jackson isn't great. Can we beat the Denver Nuggets? This is technically an upset since they are the ninth seed. We've been down the whole game, but we have a great fourth quarter and we end up winning by 20. A Marco Jackson, 24, 5, and 9 in 29 minutes. Hell yeah, Jalen Suggs, great for us off the bench. And can we beat the MVP? The MVP was in the playing tournament, weird. But can we beat Dallas on the road to advance to the playoffs? This would be insane if we can. It's close, man. We're, we're playing very similar to the Denver game, and there it goes. We get blown out here in the fourth quarter, but we gave somewhat of a fight. We ended up losing, the, well, fight till the fourth quarter, where we just, they doubled our scoring. They won 48 to 24 in the fourth quarter. Yikes. All right. You know what? Still a solid year. I would have liked to make the actual playoffs, but I think we're just going in the right direction. Maybe we're going to look for an upgrade at the point guard spot in the offseason, or we're going to figure out if Marco Jackson is that guy. The Hornets. Wait, 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 wait. They got Kate Cunningham, so they traded Lamelo for Harper, made him the two. You could have put Cooper Flag. I mean, I guess you had Sar. Uh, that's a six squad. <laughs> that's a six squad. Um, they beat the Pistons to go to the NBA Finals. The Spurs were the sixth seed, and yeah, so who wins? Thunder or Hornets? The Thunder three-peat, and this time, Giddy is your finals MVP. They're unstoppable. Chris Paul retires in a Milwaukee Buck. I feel like there was like two instances where he could have been a Buck later in his career. So we do have the 13th projected pick in this draft, and we end up staying at 13 we also have that pelicans pick from a couple years ago in the javon carter trade that's at 26 i don't really think i'm gonna add two rookies to this team though so i'm gonna trade this pick and our second for the Cavs pick in 2030 so cameron boozer the son of carlos boozer goes number one overall aj uh Dibansa goes number two those are definitely the top two guys bryce james goes to the rockets at six i have no idea if he's an actual prospect but i'm gonna take him off his name alone i'm gonna take bryson tiller not the rapper that actually is his name though okay that's pretty sick so yeah boozer's gonna be a beast um we're gonna go here to rookie signings um we're gonna sign tiller there we got justin edwards uh, marco jackson um we're gonna bring back i'm not gonna bring back maxwell lewis gonna free up that two million dollars elliot cadeau can get my qualifying offer now if we are looking for some floor spacing i'm not gonna probably bring back any of these guys we do have a max contract basically available. We have $49 million. Oh, and there is Triple J here. There is also Keegan Murray if we really want to get some good floor spacing. Jalen Williams as well. You know what? I would kind of love Keegan Murray. We do need to get some floor spacing. Even though like Triple J and Claxton together would be sick defensively. We have the money. Let's give him 30 mil a year. Let's overpay for him. And let's make sure that Sacramento is not going to match that deal. And they don't. Let's go. So we just landed Keegan Murray. I needed to improve the floor spacing. And we just got out a 39, basically career 40% three-point shooter. We're going to bring back Elliot Cadeau as well on a three-year deal worth around $15 million. He should accept that. And are we going to get him? There we go. So who has really changed teams so far? Um, Luca stays. Curry stays. KD goes to Portland. Um, Giddy goes to Detroit. Brunson stays in New York, but goes to Brooklyn. Uh, Triple J goes back to the Grizzlies. Bridges signed with the Spurs. Oh my God. Are they losing somebody? Well, they're going to probably lose Sohan. I don't even know if like Vassell's a free agent, but are you kidding me? 
Wow. Um, that may be the team to beat. I mean, the Thunder is so good, but they have Wemby, Mikel, Vassell, Keldon Johnson, Flag. Oh my God, this team is sick. That is absurd. That is insane of young talent. All right, so we see Edwards progress, Claxton, Murray, Ace, Bailey up to an 83 overall. I'm very excited about this team this year. So that is going to move Suggs and Johnson to the bench. Simmons can get 20 minutes. We'll probably go 14 to Cadeau. Yeah, so maybe uh, Bruno Fernando is going to be out of the rotation. Whoa, we picked up Isaiah Wong. Shout out Miami. All right, so we're probably going to go something like this for the season. Play 10 guys in this rotation. And then for the playoffs, it will change a little bit. Maybe I'll go like 22 to Johnson and go 30 to Keegan Murray. System proficiency is four-star balanced. Very excited about this team this season. We lose game one, though, against the Miami Heat at home. Not a great start. But then we beat the Wizards in the second game of the season. So we see Chet Holmgren and Josh Giddy, who's now in Detroit, get uh, their first-time All-Stars. We don't see, like, a Justin Edwards. We are 11 games above 500. Nice to see this team improving. Edwards is averaging 24.8 points. Bailey, 17 in year two. Still can't hit a three, but it's okay because Keegan Murray is shooting 37%. I don't think I'm going to make any trades at the deadline this year. We're still a relatively young team. I mean, like, Coxon's 27. I don't really think I'm trying to upgrade there at all. Jalen Suggs' efficiency has honestly, I guess, technically gone up. It's nothing too crazy. Marco Jackson is averaging 8.3 assists tonight. So we'll see if Justin Edwards can carry this team in the playoffs, but I'm not going to put all my eggs in that basket and just, like, be upset if we make it because you know what i think um this season i'm cool with just making the playoffs as a top six seed and we just hit the 50 win total here in the beginning of april wow we are gonna get possibly 53 wins boom we end the season on a really strong note cameron boozer is your rookie of the year cooper flag sixth man of the year Giannis depoy most improved goes to ding patel who was out of high school 27th pick in 2025 Jokic clutch player of the year and taylor jenkins i guess since it's no more you Doka is the coach in houston wow isaiah collier all nba third team okay that hurts to see just a little bit donovan cling in there on all defensive first team as well all defensive second team we do get justin edwards who averaged 25 points eight and a half rebounds three and a half assists he wait his efficiency was 55 basically 47 90 that's absurd and bryson tiller was on all rookie second team so we finished as the four seed in the western conference we're going up against dallas in round one can hopefully get revenge for them beating us in the play-in a good team now. Here are the end of the season stats with Edwards leading the way, then Bailey, Murray, Jackson, Suggs, Johnson, Claxton, Simmons, and then Cadeau and Tiller. So for the playoffs, I don't think I'm going to play Brayson Tiller. I think I'm going to play Elliot Cadeau like 12 minutes a night. He was pretty efficient. I think Simmons, Johnson can get 20, maybe 24 to Suggs. That's fine. I want to go 33 to Claxton, 33 to Keegan, 33 to Ace. Uh, let's do 30 to Jackson and then 35 to Edwards. Four-star balance. Can we beat the Dallas Mavericks in advance out of round one? We are the four seed. They are the five seed. And they just, gentlemen, swept us. They have owned us in this video. Damn, it wasn't because of Justin Edwards. I don't really think it was because of Ace Bailey as well. Damn, that hurts. Ben Simmons shot 82% from the field. Keegan Murray, 42 from the field, 34 from three. All right, that's not what I love to see. Marco Jackson did average a double-double, but was not efficient whatsoever. Ah, oh, that is pretty upsetting. Yeah, Justin Edwards is really good. So it's a shame we wasted that playoff performance. Wemby is your Western Conference Finals MVP. Halliburton is your Eastern Conference Finals MVP. And yeah, the Spurs win in five. Like I said, that is one of the best teams in the league. So we have to, I think, get much better this offseason if we want to compete with them next year. So we just have, I believe, one first round pick here. It's 26 in the 2027 class. So we're going to take Gordon Lloyd here with our first round pick, a wing out of Oklahoma. As you could tell, it is a new day for me right now um so i'm gonna hopefully try to get a championship sooner than later with the vancouver huskies and then we took matthew bennett out of evansville with our second round pick uh towards the end of the draft owen bradley looks pretty good number one overall pick to the well i guess yeah vancouver huskies and then you got the memphis grizzlies i thought i just called them the vancouver grizzlies so team player options jalen suggs for 15 mil Jalen Johnson for 15 mil. We could clear up $30 million by declining these, but I think I'm going to pick both of them up. There was one player I was thinking about today that I would really like to add to this team, and that would be Tyrese Halliburton. I don't know if I'd be able to acquire him via trade, but I kind of want to try it out. So he's making $45 million per year. 
Is he really five-star trade value? All right, maybe it would be impossible. I would start off with like Jalen. Oh my God, he's five stars. He actually is five stars. Okay, I, I think it would be impossible for me to get him. There's no shot. Wow, I did not know he was that elite in 2K now. All right, never mind. Not getting Halliburton. All right, I'm gonna sign Aaron Neesmith with my mid-level exception. He might be in a trade. He might not even be in the rotation. A lot of things could happen with him. As KD goes to the Chicago Bulls, Jaden Ivey to the Washington Wizards, Damian Miller to the Raptors. Edwards is up to an 89 overall. A lot of green here. I just don't know if like maybe Keegan Murray could be that guy. Is Ace Bailey going to take a jump in year three or what's Marco Jackson going to do? All right. So yeah, we're going to have like Tiller, Simmons, Cadeau, Jalen Johnson, and Jalen Suggs off the bench. There could be a big trade in place at the deadline. We are four and a half star balance. Hopefully this team does break out in year four. We start off the season with two road games pretty far apart from each other. And we go one and one to start off the year. I feel like we never win on opening night, but good start for Ace Bailey. I'll tell you that. Then we beat the Bucks by five. Edwards drops 25 in this game. Then we have a home game against the three and one Rockets. This would be an impressive win. Come on, let's go. We ended up beating them by 10. Justin Edwards is him. All right, so do we get an all-star this year? Ron Holland, Cameron Boozer, Jalen Green, all first time all-stars and Brandon Miller, but no Justin Edwards, no Ace Bailey. We are 34 and 17 on the year. Maybe Bailey hasn't broken out as I kind of wanted him to. I don't know if El Marco Jackson's the guy. Like, yeah, he gets a lot of assists, but he's inefficient at times. I mean, he's a good free throw shooter. He's been inefficient from three and from the field overall. Elliot Cano could possibly be better. I think I may try to make an upgrade at a point guard spot or a power forward spot here in a few days. All right, so the Pacers have Amen Thompson and they have Tyrese Halliburton. Would I be able to do like a Ben Simmons, El Marco Jackson type deal? So I'd also have to acquire or give up 9 million. This is where Nate Smith can come in. Come on, I don't think that's gonna be enough money. All right, so I don't know if they would do this. Ben Simmons, El Marco Jackson, Jalen Johnson for Amen Thompson and Terrence Davis. They have Halliburton and Thompson and I think Thompson would be a massive upgrade. I do have the Hawks first round pick this year as well, which could probably get it done. I mean, I might as well try it for Halliburton, right? So that I didn't know that Hawks pick had that much value. What about this Cavs pick? And then I guess I'll give you my pick. I mean, I doubt they would do this trade, right? Okay, so um, yeah, I could probably do that Cavs pick, I think, alone for Amen Thompson. I don't think I'll really have to throw in that Hawks pick. So this is a decent package here, um, and they are going to agree to it. So it's going to be Amen Thompson, Edwards, Bailey, Keegan Murray, Claxton, Suggs, Cadeau, Tiller, and Neesmith off the bench. But I'm definitely going to just kind of figure out the minute allocation to an extent. So that is going to be hopefully my championship caliber move, and we'll see if we can win a title this season. All right, so Shea Gilgis Alexander is your MVP. Owen Bradley, the number one overall pick, is your rookie of the year. Sixth man of the year goes to Cooper Flag for some reason coming off the bench. I probably should trade for him. And yeah, the Spurs get coach of the year. That team is also just so, so good. So we do get Justin Edwards on all NBA third team. I mean, a 50 40 90 season, averaging 24 and a half points is very impressive. We also get Justin Edwards on all defensive first team. And I'm in Thompson on all defensive second team. Not really a great shooter like Omarco Jackson, but definitely a more efficient player. We ended the season as the three seed. So the one seed has that stacked Spurs team. Who won 67 games? Good lord. Um, and then the MVP, Shea Gojas Alexander on the two-seated Thunder. Why is this conference impossible right now? Ace Bailey ended up with 18 points. Murray with 13. Kiddo with 12. Suggs with 10. And we're taking on the Golden State Warriors in round one. They got Dyson Daniels at an 89 overall. Still have Wiggins and Kuminga. And they still have Usman Garuba as well. We should be able to beat them in advance to round two. But who knows? We were down two to one. We end up winning three in a row. So we advance on the backs of Justin Edwards dropping 25 and a half a night. Now we got the OKC Thunder. Oh, they're so good. They just won in five. All right, here goes nothing. Game one, we ended up losing by four points. I just really want to steal one of them in OKC and we lose them both. Oh, we get blown out and we then... Oh, God damn it, we go down 3-0. Come on, that team is so good. All right, three to one, we're still alive. Amen Thompson had an 18 assist triple double and we lost in five. God damn it, by one point. That sucks. All right, the Thunder and, well, the Thunder have been dominating this video, but the Thunder and the Spurs are stacked. I gotta go off on moves this offseason, I guess. KD retires, same with PG and Harden. And that Hawks pick only ended up at 14, so it's not like it was great value anyway. Ime Udoka is possibly going, you know what? I'm gonna bring him back as our head coach. He's been here for a while. This is going to be year five. So we got Igor, a center there at 14. We got Kelly Tinsley at 28, and then we there in the second round. Pick up the team options on everybody here. 
Cat opts out for free agency. Um, we're going to pay Justin Edwards a lot of money. Nick Claxton's a free agent. I may do a sign and trade with him. Suggs I'd like to bring back as well. And we get Claxton and Suggs back nice. And then obviously I'll match whatever Justin Edwards gets. From the New Jersey Generals, it's going to be a four-year 193 contract. Anybody switch up at the top at all? It doesn't really look like it. No, I guess RJ Barrett went to the Sixers. And I feel like we'll be more of a trade deadline team. I just don't really know what move to make right now. So we don't really see that much progression here in the year five offseason. All right, another year, a bunch of new first timers, but just nobody here from the Vancouver Huskies, unfortunately. I just don't get how Justin Edwards is not an all-star. I mean, I guess I get the points per game thing. He's so efficient. I wish he was scoring at a little bit of a higher level because I feel like he could average an efficient 28. He could average an efficient 30 for sure. All right, so I'm going to be doing this trade with the Charlotte Hornets. I'm going to be giving them Jalen Suggs, Gordon Boyd a first and a future second. Gary Trent Jr., I don't know if he's going to crack the rotation, but mainly we're getting Jordan Poole, who I think we're looking for a little bit of more offense on the second unit, and Poole is definitely a better scorer than Suggs. So they agree to that trade. And I think that's going to be the only thing I'm going to do down the stretch here. We'll extend Elliot Kiddo. Keegan Murray, I need you to go off in the playoffs. I need you to make me not regret choosing you over Triple J. So Shane Gojus Alexander is your MVP. Tony Petrovich is your rookie of the year. Six man of the year. Liam McNeely. Yep, this guy is a beast. Evan Mobley, Depoy, most improved goes to McNeely. Jaleel Bethea is your clutch player of the year. And the Spurs win 78-12. Oh my God, I'm not going to beat them. I'm not going to beat them. Cameron Bruiser, NBA first team. Tidwan Salon. Um, Saloon, Salon. Um, oh, he's good too. He's really efficient. God damn it. All right. At least Justin Edwards got on all NBA third team. Shout out to Philip House. Kyle Filipowski for making it. Edwards also all defensive first team. And we are the three seed once again because this is just how the Western Conference is going to look. Uh, I hate it so much. I hate it so much. It's so good right now. We're taking on Dallas in round one. It's the Jalen Johnson revenge series. They also have John Collins now. For the playoffs, I think I'm going to opt for Aaron Neesmith over Gary Trent. I think Bryson Tiller is actually pretty solid to get 17 minutes a night. I think Elliot Cadeau and Jordan Poole can get around 23 minutes. I'd like to go 30 to Claxton, 30 to... Keegan Murray, 37 to Edwards, 35 to Thompson, 32 to Ace Bailey. Please tell me we can get out of round one. We got out of round one last year. All right, there we go. We sweep them. Minnesota, I would have loved it if you beat OKC for me, but shout out to Edwards and Thompson going off in round one. Here we go. Can we get revenge on the OKC Thunder? Well, they just won game one. God, they have greedy dick now. Oh, yeah, they have William McNeely. Yeah, he's on the Thunder, Don. They blew us out. Ah, oh, they're so good, man. They're so good. Game two. God damn it. I hate this. I hate this. Game three. Come on! Don't do this. Don't sweep me. Please. Oh my god! Alright, Vancouver's curse. Maybe they do not deserve an expansion team. This is... Brutal.